Hey guys, Darcy here today, and we're going to talk about navigating automation in Luna. Let's go. First off, where do we find the automation on our tracks? Well, there's a couple of ways. So let's take a look at this track we have here, sample. And we first, let's say we want to just bring up volume automation, right? We don't see any right now, but we do see on our, our send track down here, on our bus, but we don't see on, on this uh, actual track. So if we click the uh, minus button, then we will automatically toggle to the volume automation. It just kind of defaults to that one. So then we could literally click it, drag it, and do what we want to do, right? So, but what if we want to choose another one? The way that I tend to do this on a regular basis is just go over here on the left-hand side where it says view and it says volume. You click that and then on the left, a bigger drawer appears and you can go through the different um, types of automation you have available to this track. So first off, if we see that we have clip and, and warp, these aren't really automation, they're just options for the track. But then everything after this fact is something we can automate. So volume, muting a track, panning the left pan and panning the right pan. Okay, but it seems very limited, right? Well, right now we don't have much going on with this track. We have no inserts, we have no plugins, none of that stuff, okay? So now let's go and add some tape saturation to this track. So we'll choose oxide just for simple purposes. Close this out, go back, and now we see that tape has some automation added to it. So we have turn it on and off and how much saturation because this tape has some simple options, okay? Let's switch out our tape and go to the Studer. So now we'll go back and now we see we have more options. So each tape will have its own set of options and so forth. So let's go and add a insert, okay? Let's do Pro Q because this one has quite a few options, okay? Let's hit Pro Q3. So close that out, go back to the view. And now that we see we have both our output, our tape, and a whole lot of automation options for the Pro Q3. So now you're starting to go like, this is this is a lot, right? How do I navigate? Well, up here at the top, we have text searching, right? So if we want to do everything that's volume related, we can just type the word volume, and we see we only have the volume one. Uh, let's say we had a specific band. We're bringing up Pro Q3, and we had a specific band that we're affecting. We're looking here, and we're going, okay, we can see right there it's band one. So now we can go back to our search and go band one and we see all of the band one options and also band two and so forth because it's band one, sorry, no, band 12, I meant saying not band two. Um, so maybe we want to put a space in here. So it will cut out and say band one, everything with a space, then another word. So now we have all the band one options, right? It's just about text searching and narrowing things down. Okay. I'm going to close out this one just entirely because I want to make the visuals a little simpler. Now let's say we want to add a send. Okay. So we choose, I want to send this to the reverb. Okay. So we do that. Now we go back to our automation and we see we have send options. We have volume, mute, panning. Now I tend to do like a lot of volume automation on the tracks and then to my sends. So one thing I love is just being able to type the word volume again as my example and you will see that we have both how much volume are we sending to the main out and also how much volume are we sending to my reverb. It's just very simple to navigate that if you have you know eight inserts there's 15,000 options how do I get through it? And I just want to add some volume automation to my reverb. Just type the word volume and it'll just ignore everything else. Just a simple way to move through it. And depending on the plugin, you may have to actually look around and figure out what it's called. Sometimes, you know, there'll be a mix knob and then in here it's called dry wet or it's called mix. That's kind of down to the plugins. Uh, choices of what they name things, but you'll get familiar with whatever plugins you have in terms of how they name them. Anyways, if you found this helpful, let me know and let me know what else you'd want me to cover in the future that you would find super helpful to get started with Luna or to be better at it. Anyways, peace y'all. Have a good one.